Hello dear students, this is your English teacher Kasar Bashir. Dear students, in this video, I am going to talk about the 6th chapter of the prose section of your English text to live series for class 10th and the name of the chapter is Papachi's Moth, written by Arundhati Roy. Let's get started. About the author. Dear students, Arundhati Roy is an Indian novelist, essayist and committed human rights activist who has been writing on contemporary social and political issues. She was born on 24th of November 1961 in Shillong, Meghalaya, India. She is best known for her novel The God of Small Things, which was published in 1997. And this novel won her the Man Booker Prize for Fiction in the same year, 1997. The students, her second novel, The Ministry of Utmost Happiness, was published in 2017. The students, if you want to know more about Arundhati Roy, Google her name and you will find ample information about her on Wikipedia, on internet. Introduction of the lesson, Papachi's Moth. Papachi's Moth is an extract from the second chapter entitled Papachi's Moth of Arundhati Roy's famous semi-autobiographical novel, The God of Small Things. It describes how small things build up one's behavior and affect lives of people. Papachi, which means grandfather, was an imperial entomologist at the Pusha Institute prior to his retirement. He has been bitter since his discovery of a new species of moth was dismissed and then 12 years later credited to someone else. His facade, that's false appearance of being a perfect and father, hides his abusive tendencies towards his family, especially Mamachi, his wife. One night while Papachi is beating her, Chako a Rhodes Scholar home from Oxford University stops him and warns him never to do it again. From then on till his death, Papachi never bet or spoke to Mamachi. Dear students, the novel highlights various social issues and evils that plague our society. However, this extract raises the issue called gender discrimination. Summary of Papachi's Moth Dear students, Papachi's Moth is a brilliant piece of literature that highlights various social issues, the dominant one being gender discrimination. That's how women are oppressed, beaten, disrespected and not given their due rights by men, who show and exploit their so-called power on them. And at the same time, how women, despite discrimination, come up as brave and successful. In the lesson, Mamachi is a symbol of bravery and success, while as Papachi is a symbol of power and oppression. Papachi was an imperial entomologist. Entomologist is someone who studies the insects, and he had retired as a director in the department of entomology. The students, after his retirement from government service in Delhi, he had come to live in Amenem. Amenim is a village in the Kotayam district of Kerala. Many years passed and now he spent most of the time at home. His wife Mamachi had started a small business, pickle making, after his retirement. She was now quite successful in the business and had made a name for herself. Papachi never helped her in her work because he considered it not a suitable job for him, a high-ranking ex-government official. On the contrary, he was always jealous of her success in the business. He often bet her with a brass flower was displaying his so-called power and dominance. And in order to get her a bad name, he would sit on the veranda and start seeing the buttons that were, in fact, not missing. But there was a reason behind his bitterness in temperament. While in service, 
he had discovered a new species of moth, which had lit a candle of hope or fame in his heart. However, after six unbearable months of anxiety, he was told that his moth had finally been identified as a slightly unusual race of a well-known species that belonged to the tropical family Lymantriad. And after 12 years, Papachi now retired from service, came to know that Lepidopterestis had decided that his moth was a separate species hitherto unknown to science, and the credit of this discovery was taken by the acting director of the Department of Entomology, who used to be a far junior to him, and whom he always disliked. This all shocked him and made him turn bitter. This bitterness continued throughout his life, and he would exploit this bitterness on his wife. The students, Lepidopterists, are those who study butterflies and insects. Papachi's son, Chaco, a scholar at the Oxford University, once during his visit home, saw his father beating his mother with the brass flower vase. He took hold of his father's arm, twisted it at his back, and warned him not to repeat the same in future. After this incident, a great change came in Papachi's life. He never spoke to Mamachi till he passed away because of heart attack at the Kotayam General Hospital. And when he died, Mamachi wept a lot, not because she loved him, but because she was used to living with him. Points to remember The God of Small Things is written by Arundhati Roy. It won her the Booker Prize in 1997. Papachi was 17 years older than Mamachi. Mamachi was suffering from conical corneas, an eye disease. The Plymouth, the name of the car Papachi bought, was Papachi's revenge at his family. Papachi died of heart attack at the Kotayam General Hospital. The main theme of the lesson is gender discrimination. Assessment the students, this section is for you. Read the questions and options carefully and select the correct option and then write them to me in the comment section below so that I can see whether or not you have done them correctly. Question number one. Andati Roy was Option A. Film star B. Novelist C. Social and political activist D. Both A and B Question number two. Papachi's moth is an extract from the novel. Option one, the god of big things. Option B, the minister of utmost happiness. Option C, the god of small things. Option D, none of the above. Question number three. Andati Roy won the Booker Prize in 1997 for her best-selling novel, The God of Small Things, which was published in the year. Option A, 1998. B. 1999 C. 1997 D. 2017 Question number 4. What business did Mamachi start after her husband Papachi's retirement? Option A. Childering Option B. Hairdressing C. Pickle making D. None of the above Question number 5. Papachi had been an imperial entomologist at the Dejdej Institute. Option A, Usha. Option B, Pusha. Option C, Plymouth. Option D, Imperial. Question number 6. One who studies butterflies and insects is called Option A, Anthropologist. Option B, Cytologist. Option C, Dermatologist. Option D, Lepidopterist. Dear students, if you have any doubts, any queries about today's video, you can contact me on my phone number 9596340913. I'll meet you with next part about the same lesson very soon. Till then, stay blessed. Khuda Hafiz.